Growth hormone, or somatotropin, is a peptide hormone that stimulates growth. Secretion of the growth hormone depends on the hypothalamic-pituitary axis. The hypothalamus, which is a part of the brain, secretes growth hormone, releasing hormone into the hypophyseal portal system, which is a network of capillaries linking the hypothalamus to the anterior or front part of the pituitary gland. In the anterior pituitary, there are many different types of cells, each responsible for producing a type of hormone. Growth hormone releasing hormone acts directly on somatotrophs of the anterior pituitary to stimulate both synthesis and secretion of growth hormone. The growth hormone is secreted in a pulsatile pattern, increasing and decreasing. The precise mechanisms that control secretion of growth hormone are not fully understood, but several factors related to a person's state of nutrition or stress are known to stimulate secretion. For example, the hypothalamus senses when there's hypoglycemia or low blood sugar, and in response it secretes growth hormone releasing hormone. Other stimuli for secretion are exercise and various forms of stress including trauma, fever and anesthesia. The highest rate of growth hormone secretion occur during puberty, which is responsible for the growth spurt. Now, there are a few negative feedback loops that generally control the release of growth hormone. First, growth hormone releasing hormone inhibits its own secretion from the hypothalamus via an ultra-short loop feedback. Second, when growth hormone reaches tissues like the liver, muscles and bones, they make somatomedins, which are hormones that signal the anterior pituitary to stop producing growth hormone. Third, both growth hormone and somatomedins stimulate the secretion of somatostatin by the hypothalamus, which is also called the growth hormone inhibiting hormone. Growth hormone travels via the blood to various target tissues in the body to stimulate growth in two ways, directly and indirectly. Direct effect of growth hormone is due to stimulation of cellular metabolism, which leads to tissue growth. Growth hormone has a specific effect in causing the release of fatty acids from adipose tissue and therefore increasing the concentration of fatty acids in the body fluids and this fuels the increased metabolism of other cells in the body. In the liver, it promotes gluconeogenesis, which is the production of glucose, and glycogenolysis, which is the breakdown of glycogen. Growth hormone causes insulin resistance and decreases glucose uptake and utilization by target tissues, such as muscle and adipose tissue. These effects are called diabetogenic, because they produce an increase in blood glucose concentration, as occurs when insulin is lacking or when tissues are resistant to insulin. This increased glucose level also stimulates the release of more insulin. Growth hormone also has indirect effects, which are seen in certain tissues like the liver, skeletal muscles, bones and kidneys, where growth hormone stimulates the steady release of a type of somatomedin called somatomedin C which is also called insulin-like growth factor 1, or IGF-1. This IGF-1 then binds to insulin-like growth factor 1 receptors, as well as insulin receptors, and promotes cellular metabolism, prevents cell death, and increases the rate of cell division and differentiation throughout the body. In the muscles, it stimulates amino acid uptake into the muscle cells, which helps with protein production and muscle growth. Do not forget to like the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel.